previously on The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. Now you need to install this sucker at the pump. Hey, there we go. Yep. Oh, yep. Here it is. Alright. Sleep for the night, wait for her to respond. Yeah. Alright, we're back in it. Welcome everybody back to another part. An episode of Walking Dead. Alright, uh, yeah, trouble by water. Let's say the coffin. Okay, uh, let's, uh, ooh, oh, hello. Ooh, kitty cat. Look at that. Now, I don't know if it, you know, picks up on camera or, you know, the mic. I can definitely hear it in my voice. My nose is clogged. Work at that out, uh, but, you know, I might sound a little nasally throughout this. Uh, recording session, so sorry about that. Uh, let's turn to Casey and see if he has anything to do. Casey, hello? Oh, hey, Casey. Hey, Casey. You there? Yeah, always here. Always thinking. My mind is always swirling with something these days. Yeah. It's impossible to shut it down. That's understandable. Difficult to maintain a state of mind given the situation you're in. Hey, this morning, I realized something. I can't even remember the last time I saw the sky. It's been a while, at least that much I know. Months. Wish I would have paid more attention. Yeah. You ever been to the Badlands up in South Dakota? Uh, nope. Never been. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Really? Like another planet. Dang. My mom used to drive me through there every summer on the way to see my uncle. The night sky was so bright. So many stars. A dome overhead. Crystal clear view of the cosmos. That put a lot of things in perspective for me back when I really needed it. How insignificant we really are in the grand scheme of things. How my troubles, no matter how big they may seem, really don't mean squat. Yeah. I mean... Well, what are troubles anyway, huh? The universe doesn't know the meaning of the word. <sighs> I wish I had that Badland sky overhead right about now. <laughs> yeah. You know, the first thing I'm going to do when free is head back north. I think I've had enough of swamp life. Could be a good plan. Uh, curious about your family. You mentioned your mom and your uncle. But my uncle died a while ago. I miss him a ton. We were friends. I looked up to him. I never really knew my dad, so... Yeah, he kind of stepped in. When he could. My mom and I, uh, We didn't always get along. No clue what happened to my mom, actually. Hey. <laughs> when I left home and joined the guard, we weren't speaking, which... That's fine by me. She never thought too much of me. Didn't think I'd ever amount to anything. <laughs> the verdict is still out, I suppose. What about your uncle? How did your uncle die? Cancer. Look, Torres died. Uh, I've had enough of a therapy session. Sorry. I don't feel like talking anymore. I'm gonna go put my head down for a bit. I'll talk to you soon. Sorry, but that got too personal. Uh. Okay, this is the coffin. I want to see what May has for me next. Oh. Hey, tourist. Something you need to understand. Perspective. The tower executed my husband. Cold blood. Take the walk, they call it. Rooftop march right over the edge. 45 stories. The whole rotten collective gathered to witness the plunge. Even people we considered dear friends. Carmen, Micah, Todd, and Silver. They stood there, watched, and I said nothing. Geary was no cannibal. Geary. Georgia just wanted him gone. It was only a matter of time before I was next. Then, I'm... you question anything Georgia does, she <clears throat> will manufacture whatever she can to turn the tower against you. Damn. She's got everyone afraid. So I got my hands on something they desperately need. Ooh. A reserve key. Wait, what? And we got out of there. Reserve key. I searched key. high and low for the door, but it became obvious real quick. Better a chance to find a layer of the Rugurus in this godforsaken reserve. I'm through with the search. 
Let everyone else kill each other over it. The key is just insurance for me at this point. Bargaining chip. In case Ombra ever gets captured. Not interested in brokering any other deals for it. That's as direct as I can be. As far as the next cache is concerned, keep your eyes peeled for marked up maps. Showing pockets when the walker population isn't so dense. Might be the only safe spaces in New Orleans. That's all I'm after right now. The rest of the cash is yours. Meds, ammo, food. Maybe even a few surprises. Definitely enough to keep a pro scavenger happy. May. Thanks, May. Uh, reserve key? I gotta ask Casey about that. Never said anything about that. Maybe he's trying to trick me, you know? Never know with this kid. But, uh... Right now, let's uh, focus on Casey. I think it's his turn for his next pump. I need to use one of these things. If I don't use it, you know what? Nah, well, let's just freaking yeah. Let's just toss those. I don't think I'm ever gonna use them. This is close to breaking, so I think I'm just gonna just toss it too. I can make more stuff then. Crowbar. I can use a crowbar. Use a shiv. Throw this in there. Don't need that. Okay. Uh. Let's see here. Twinkle toe. Oh god. Oh my god. Okay. I need one to take one of these. Okay, there we go. What's this? Salmon is increased by 25%. Let's go. Okay. Let's go to the sheriff. 12 rounds. Sprinting is quieter and costs 25 less stamina. make one of these for me, just in case and we can, we can head out yeah I don't think we need too much so let's just head on to buy water and uh, get that pump we are here let's see here oh no no floor by floor we fought Five bloody and costly weeks to clear the entire building. By the time our climb was through, and the building was secure, our numbers were reduced to 36. Twelve brave and beautiful souls lost, but their sacrifices were not in vain. We had our home, our tower. Word of our success spread like wildfire. Every day, more and more survivors found their way to our homes. And we welcomed them with arms wide open. We had the room to grow, and we grew quickly. In those early days, we were unified. And as a result, we were prosperous. One collective mind. One collective vision. They allowed us to regain control of our lives. But as the population grew, dissent found its way into the collective and reared its ugly head at the most difficult of times. And what did we do? Did we crumble? Did we change our course? No. We persevered, as we have from the beginning. We knew that our future remained bright if we stayed committed to what brought us to our tower in the first place. So let us not allow all the noise to knock us back down to the ground from the heights we have already achieved. Let us continue to climb together. We must cut loose those who burden us with their petty squabbles, their poisonous minds, and their freeloading ways. Trust in Mama when I say we are better off without them. Have I ever steered you wrong? I don't know. Anyways, let's just talk to this man over here. We have to keep our voices down. Oh. I'm in a bind and I need a third party to set some wheels in motion. Someone unaligned. Okay. Nothing shady, I swear. No! Okay. You've got my attention. What do you need? Meet me on the opposite side of this building. Can't risk being overheard or seen. Oh. Okay. Well, wait up, man. All right. What do you got? You made it. Yeah. Good. Okay. Here's the deal. I used to be with the tower. Okay. And I was happy there. Really. 
but I got a tendency to get mouthy, and there were some things I saw that didn't sit right with me. So I spoke my mind. My boyfriend warned me, but I didn't listen. I thought I could get through to these people, but whatever. Long story short, they kicked my ass out. I connected with the reclaimed out of necessity to survive. But I don't belong with them. I belong with Justin. He and I, we need to put all this tower and reclaim bullshit behind us. Sure. We need to make our own way. Uh, sure. Uh, why should I help you? This is between you and your boyfriend. Why should I get involved? I ain't gonna blow smoke up your ass. Ask you to help because you believe in love. I know how this works. I've written Justin a letter. Lays out my plan for us to reunite, then jet. Okay. You play poster worker. Get him the letter. Then we can talk reward. Time is working against us. I'm afraid one of us might bite it before we see each other again. <sighs> Tower and Reclaim don't exactly get along, as I'm yeah. sure you know. So, you can see the dilemma. If the guy who runs my patrol finds out I'm communicating with the Tower, that's it for me. Walk a fool. Justin is stationed with the Tower Patrol in the area. Yeah. Tom's Lumberyard just across the way. Fuck. Walker in sight. Oh. Finish it, quick. Yeah, okay. I'm ready to listen. Okay, I'll continue. Justin is stationed with the tower patrol in the area. Tom's lumberyard just to clean might accidentally kill each other. It's fucked up. Okay, uh, uh, there's no one over there, India. Talk of war now. I, I listen. I'm trusting on people, but I need to know. I'm not in the habit of running in. Walk around. Oh, crap. Up oh. My god, dude. I can focus now. Sorry. Okay, I'll continue. Bruh. Okay, talk. Holy! Yo, I'm gonna take this man out. I'm ready to listen. Okay, I'll continue. Okay, I need to hurry this up. One I'm more. not in the habit of running errands for strangers without knowing what my take is. I'll make it simple. I need parts for a pump. Got any leads? I've got THE lead. Industrial shit galore stocked up in a nearby warehouse next to this auto shop we're posted up in. Oh, Place yeah. is infested with walkers at the loading dock entrance, but there is a way in on the side. Oh. From there, you can slip right on past the fuckers without much trouble. I stashed the key to the side door somewhere safe. I'll have it when you return. Here's oh. the letter. Hey, all right. Meet me back here after the letter's been delivered. I'm sure Justin will scribble a reply. He's not quite the poet I am, but I still love the guy. <laughs> okay, I don't know why you're talking like my that, space, but... My rules. Sorry. Back oh, off. Jesus. All right, let's read this. What does it say? My love, the time is now. It's been weeks since we last spoke. What if we never hold each other again? This is their war, not ours. The odds may be stacked against us, but I would rather risk everything with you by my side than survive this hell without you. Meet me at our spot beyond the southern funnel where it all begins, two dawns from now. Travel light, we have to be swift. Forever your baby, Devon. All right, very sweet. Um, okay, so he says lumber yard, right? Yeah, yumber, yum, yumber lord. Uh, lumber yard. So over here, uh, where the logs are, I'm assuming. Let's go like wood, a fish, and orange building. Okay. Uh, this looks like the place we need to get the parts, and uh, yeah, that definitely doesn't look good. Ooh, yeah, uh, let's just, yeah, let's just get to the, oh, oh freaking lumberyard, we can talk to, uh, boyfriend. Hi. I'm just gonna walk past you here. Uh, hi. What are you doing around here? You need something? Um, uh, you Justin? I'm looking for Justin. Need to deliver something. That's you? Yeah, I'm Justin. What do you have? Devon There's asked me to letter. deliver this letter to you. Okay, there you go. Much appreciated. Here, please deliver my response to Devon, and that's the last that we'll ask of you. Thanks. Is that it? Okay. Hi, Devon. First off, miss you. Second, I believe in us. If we die, we die together. Our old oak. I will be there, I promise. You're right. Fuck these fools. Our time is now. Love you to the moon. Justin. That is very sweet. Okay. Uh, I just need to take all this stuff. Then we can get going. Huh? 
I know what's going on here, and it might seem to you like the right thing to do, helping out a couple of star-crossed lovers, but you are putting their lives in jeopardy. Devon allowed his attitude to choose his path, but Justin doesn't deserve to be dragged down with him. We've been through a lot of shit together. I don't want anything horrible to happen to him. They need a clean break, no more contact. If they keep this up, they will both be dead. I'm sure Justin gave you a letter for Devon. That's how they've been staying in touch. Deliver this letter instead. It will end things between them. Then they can get on with their lives. Seems sketchy, huh? I'm not sure it's my place to decide the fate of their relationship. They're adults. Oh, oh please. They are risking their lives. If you so don't what? do what is right, their blood will be on your hands. No, it won't. I'm just helping some lovers. Devon, this is crazy. We can't continue to risk our God, lives dude, like this. No. I am safe, and I want to stay safe. That's you selfish. You should be the same. I love you, but I will not jeopardize my life. You know I am right. Let me go. Take care of yourself. Goodbye. Frick you. Justin. You know Get oh. out of my face. Frick you. I'm not giving that letter to him. That is horrible. I am not giving that letter to him. I'm going to give him that nice letter. Oh, what the heck? Oh, sick. Oh, yeah, on the map, it did say there's like a. Like supply things. I think this is a food one. Nice. Actually, I could take that far right now. Oof. Next time, fucker. Hi. Okay, let's get back to Devon and give him a letter. Hey. God, I hope nobody saw you. Did Justin send a reply? Yes, he did. It's just in that area. Here it is. He was glad to hear from me. Thank you so much. This yep. letter made my day. Hell, it made my life. Justin and I, we're gonna do this. We're really gonna do this. You made a difference today, stranger. I owe you. Here's that key I promised. Hopefully gonna make your life a whole hell of a lot easier. Oh yeah, it will. Thank you. Have a good day. So he said on the side. Keep your eyes on the side. Oh wait, I saw a speech bubble. What's this? What was that? Oof. I have a good shot. Hi. Oh, hi, uh. I've got info, I got no Oh, this is the leader he was talking about. Oh, so we can snitch on him. Well that's oof. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. Uh oh, there it is. You got there. Run from these fools. Let's get the frig out of here. Oof, okay. Hi. Throw out some junk I don't need. I don't know how that didn't break over there, but uh, I don't know what I need, but I don't need. That should be good. Let's... Oh, crap. Crap, this really was taken by the reclaim. Oh god. What the hell? Fucking Jason Voorhees asking for another sticker. What the heck was that over there? Oh, god, I can't. oh Jesus Christ. I did not see it over there. 
Oh god, I can hear a alarm. Wait, where'd they go? Oh crap, they can see me. Oh, there it is. What the hell is this? What the? Okay, uh, I need to take everything before they get me. Oh my god. There's so much stuff here. Okay, I want that. Uh, I think that's it. I need to take this. Uh, I can take that. I can take this. Or that. This? Okay, it's full. Alright, I'm out of here. I'm getting out of here. That's a lot of zombies. Okay. Bye. Bye. I said bye. Hey. Close the dang door. There we go. Okay. We got the pump parts. Um. What? I. Uh. Uh oh. Okay, yeah, uh, my game crashed right when I was about to basically, like, finish the mission. I had to go back to when I first got to Bywater and do redo the whole thing. You know, I did everything the same, so, yeah. I do want to search, uh, the auto shop a bit, so. Let's go with this uh, front uh, entrance. I don't think this is a restricted area, so. But look at this thing, bro. Warren esteemed immortal. That is awesome. Don't hang around too long. Have you guys not seen this? Bloody handprints leading up. Huh? I've got my. Oh, your statue. Hey, Bywater Angel. Nice. These are like some collectibles. Nice. All right. Uh, I think that's everything. Uh. Casey, yeah. So we just head back and finally just go. Let's we'll speak with Casey about the water pump. But the pump water. Casey, Casey, come in. Hello. Yes, I'm here. Manual open to the appropriate page. Nice. You ready? Yep. Let's do this. Great. Uh, let's start with the serial number again. Then I can calculate the flow requirement settings, just like the first time through this. Five six two seven nine three. 6-42. Okay, uh, let me look at these charts a second. So, here we go. Got it. Set valve A to 26. 26. Valve A set to 26. Number's green. Okay, good. Uh, valve B with A at 26 should be set at 39. Valve B to 39. Valve good. B to 39. Set. Two numbers green. A and B. Perfect. Okay, uh, last valve. One second, one second. There we go. Valve C should be set to 67. 67. Valve C set. All numbers green. Now the button, right? Yeah. Uh, press the round button and we'll be calibrated. There we go. <laughs> when this is all over, we should start a plumbing business, huh? The, the, the bunker buds. Sure. Sounds like a plan. But the name needs work. Tourist and the Lip Flapper Inc. Oh, that's catchy. Ha, ah, frickin' ha, ah, tourist. Anyways, this regulator needs to be installed in another pump near St. Vincent's. Same routine with the beacon light. It'll be on, so be ready for walkers skulking about. Yeah. And once it's installed and you're back at the radio, let's touch base. Good luck. 
Gonna spend the rest of my day figuring out how to prevent the flood water from shooting out my radio. I'll talk to you soon. All right. Uh, let's throw everything away before we go do that. So. I haven't tried out the bow much, so let's you know let's take it let's give it a shot, you know. Ooh. Yeah. Where is this next pump? Oh! There it is. I see it. So there's actually two. So okay, that one we already got, so that one's right there. So the next one's over here. Okay. We can go through. You can go right to it. Good. Okay. Oh, what's that? There's people. Well, guess I can't go out with uh, you know, without killing people. So. Oh, ow. I don't know how long I'm gonna film that over here, but. Oof. Okay, that was fast. Okay. Jeez, how many revolvers did they have? Drop like four. Alright. There we go. Okay, uh. Wait for Kizzy to reach out again. Alright. Let's get the frick to sleep, man. I'm tired. Alright, let's just head to Wait, hold on. Oh, we can talk to Casey. Wanna chat? Hey, Casey. Feel like bullshitting for a minute? Y yeah, sure. I ain't going nowhere. Uh, I can put this book down. Lord knows I've read it enough times already. <laughs> uh. You can read. Uh, what book? What book is it? The only book down here, besides instruction manuals, is this hardcore physics book called Hollow Reel. Uh, no clue who left it. I must have read it cover to cover a dozen times already, and it still blows my mind. I mean, the whole book is about this theory that the entire universe, like reality itself, is nothing more than a hologram being projected on the surface of a black hole. <laughs> it sounds fucking nuts, but the math supports it, I guess. Uh, I'm trying to wrap my head around it all, but science is not really my strong suit. Uh, what about you? You a reader? Uh, I prefer movies. I prefer movies. Not much of a reader. Oh shit. I haven't seen a movie in ages. Uh, oh, what kind of flicks do you like? Uh... Dark indie, basic action. Dark indie. I think that means horror. I don't know. Dark, weird shit. I want to be disturbed and challenged. Mainstream movies are all the same. Yeah, I can't get into that stuff. I don't want to think during a movie. I just want to get lost for two hours. Eat some popcorn. Oh shit. I would love some buttery popcorn right now. Weird thought. You think there'll ever be another Hollywood movie made? Uh... I mean, se seeing that everyone's, like, dying in the world is basically over, I don't think so. No. The world is too far gone. Movies had their day. We just need to be satisfied with what already exists. Shit. Well, that's bleak, tourist. Sorry. Well, on that note, I'm gonna go do some exercises. I gotta keep limber. I mean, it's so damp and cramped down here, my body's getting real stiff. Yeah. It feels like I'm fucking 80 years old. <laughs> hey, thanks for the diversion, tourist. It's thanks, nice yeah. to be reminded sometimes that we're still human beings in the middle of all this shit. Talk to you soon. Uh, see you, man. Good night. Good night. Casey, little Casey boy. Alright. Let's see what Casey has to say tomorrow and we'll do May's mission and head to Ot Old Town. Day 8.